Welcome, everybody, to this new episode of Real to Real. We're doing something hey. very, very fun. Uh, we decided that uh, going forward, it might not be after this episode or, you know, in continuation of this episode, that we're going to try to find movies that have a connecting thread of some kind. So we'll see how, yes. how well this goes. <laughs> Today, Please. I have Broadshow. He's been making some mutterings. Hello, Broadshow. Yeah. Hello. And Wilson's here. Hello. And we'll be watching The Master of Disguise, starring Dana Carvey and Dana Carvey and Dana Carvey. For a second, it was sounded like you were just going to stop at The Master. I was like, oh, really? <laughs> Philip Seymour? He's going to go right back to sleep. Yeah, it is. It looks like his nap time again. <laughs> That's a sleeper hit. Yep. Mm -hmm. but no, yeah. we got James Brolin. Yep. Um, I don't remember who plays the grandfather. <laughs> Papa. Papa. We have female love interest. We have Brent Spiner. Yep. Commander Data himself. Spiner, I hardly know her. Yep. And then a few a few celebrity cameos, and that rounds out our cast. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. It really is. Starring Dana Carvey and Dana Carvey and Dana Carvey and Dana Carvey. Yeah. So much Dana's. Um, so many carves. When was the last time you guys saw this movie? Oh, wait, when was the first mm. time you saw this, and when was the last time? The first, first time, time I saw this? Wilson's house. And like... High school. high school. No, not high school. It's before that. But the it was first time I saw this, I'm sure. I went and saw it in the theater with my mom. <laughs> nice. I so thought, that's I the think, first time I saw it. I think I rented it. The second time Maybe I saw I it is when I bought it, when it was released on home video. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still have a I, copy? I remember it. I remember uh, no. watching it at Wilson's a lot. I just don't remember if that was the first time I saw it. I want to say it was, but I could have rented it when I was younger. I definitely didn't see it in theaters. Okay. But I may have rented it. Okay. And I haven't seen it um, for a while. I could probably say I haven't seen it in 20 years. Right. Jeez. It's been that long. Like, I don't remember a whole lot about yes, it. Yes, man. It's, it's definitely been a while. I'm I'm glad that because this this movie with a few others are just like at, scene for scene are seared into my brain. Yeah, I hear you. Because I've I've mentioned this to you guys before, but there was like a three or four year span of middle school and high school where my nighttime ritual for going to sleep would be to put a DVD in my PlayStation 2 set that motherfucker on loop and just let it play all night. And it was yep. only like five or six DVDs. And this was one of them. So I, uh, I, I can't count how many times I've seen this movie. Okay. It's, it's, I think everybody's a, like familiar. If you're not familiar with this movie, then I hope you watch it and you enjoy it. But anybody who is familiar knows the general caliber of what they're getting into. Tell you. Yeah. Right. That being said, I love this movie. I'm excited we're watching it. Same. And I I just want to jump into it. So do you, you want to jump into it right now? Well, I'm, I'm yeah. glad that you don't really have a memory of it. I'm glad somebody here has relatively fresh eyes. Yeah, I mean, I, I remember bits and pieces. I, I know the <laughs> the some of the uh, impressions that he does throughout. But the whole now, premise of like why he does what he does... He just yeah, uses before, that, I don't know, as uh, an element of the the narrative is that he just needs to disguise himself and blend into certain situations. Like, that's the gist, it, I think. It's it's not a, well, there's situationally a need, but it's more his calling. He is He's compelled to disguise himself and be other people. Mm -hmm. Yep. You, you'll learn. You'll yep. learn. There's a, there's a deep lore here that I think is... This is the most rich movie, the most textured film of rich. the Happy Madison catalog. 
Oh yeah, we should mention it's a Happy Madison joint. Mm-hmm. Yep. And it just it it really does feel like this was Dana Carvey's bite at the apple of like that Austin Powers kind of shtick where you just you get to play silly characters and there's a movie based around that and you get to have fun. But sadly, you know, this didn't really take off the way Austin Powers did. <laughs> right. Started off much sadder. No, just kidding. He, well, he sees his buddy Mike out there having fun. So he's like, shit, I'll give it a shot. It's true. And also potentially Adams. stealing stuff from him. That was one of the things that, um, he was, what was it? Was it, was it fat bastard? There's something that he like, that Dana Carvey was like, yeah, that's something I used to do all the time. Oh, the Lord well, Michaels, uh, Lord Michaels, Dr. Evil. Dr. Evil. Oh yeah. Yeah. Dr. Evil is just like Dana kind of Lauren Michaels. Yeah. But you know, that's, yeah. that's neither here nor there. No, it's everywhere. Any any man can wear a disguise. Only one man can be the master of disguise. Hey, uh, yep. brought it back. Brought it back, and then we'll just, <laughs> we'll just jump into it right now. We'll be back when we watch The Master of Disguise. Goodbye. Yeah. See ya. And now, our feature presentation. Now, now, pay attention, because this is where it gets interesting. <laughs> the, the start of the movie. <laughs> the, the absolute beginning of the movie. Shut up. Pay attention. This is where it gets good. <laughs> Fire hazard. This is, this is back in the days of we still had intro titles, like intro credits, you know? Yep. Mm-hmm. And hey, just in case you couldn't tell... We're having fun. This is a fun song. <laughs> His pants are down. We're having a good time. Harry Andalyn Blake. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fake name. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Exodia. Bo Derek. <laughs> this is my son. Yeah. So violently. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> it's the Mothman. <laughs> the Mothman? Bo Derek. The Mothman. This is actually the Mothman <laughs> prophecies. What an excellent idea. That Bernard. extra cop yes, that you've yes, seen like now. 60 Steve times before. The motion yep. picture, Shrek. You ready? Okay. Oh, Shrek. Why don't you get away from me, donkey? What you talk about get away from you? I'm making waffles. Are you a magician? Abraham Lincoln was such a boring speaker that the disguises had to help him get elected president. <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I just need to drink a little. All of these little scenes are uh, Dana Carvey oh, doing the disguise. Yeah! Let's party! Hit it, boys! Yeah, they made a rap song for this movie. I'm getting bigger. I, I, I got so fat. Uh huh. Obtain the world's rarest treasures. You're a sick man, Bowman. <laughs> No, oh, no. What are you talking about? My men are ready to pounce on my command. No more, please stop. All right, all right. Is this like a torture chamber <laughs> thing for her, or what? No. Does she thinks she's still at home cooking. Oh, wait. Is that? Oh my God. <laughs> Should look around at the spot your father was taken. That's your idea. That's it? To look around at the spot where my father was taken? <laughs> That's crazy. So crazy. Just oh, he lives. Work. I've been living in 
You know. Are you sure? <laughs> That's debatable. <laughs> That's the limit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Turtle. Turtle. Oh, Devlin Bowman. Turtle. Um. I can't give you that information. Oh. Okay. No information. You don't cry, huh? What if harm found its way to you? Terrible, terrible, terrible harm. Would that change your mind? <laughs> Where you go? See, what the huh? fuck is that? Hmm. What the <laughs> shit did I just watch? <laughs> it just happened. And that's how the scene ends. Is that's how the scene ends. He bites somebody's spinning? nose off and him mm -hmm. spinning on the ground. What the hell? I don't even. You should see your hair. You've got serious mask head. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't. Damn it. Nice to meet you, Barbsy. We're never going to make babies. <laughs> what? I could tell just by looking at you. You had a little winner. Some dinos. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> hey, did you see a dark-haired guy run by here? Dark-haired guy, guy run it. by here. Dark-haired guy go in the water. Shark in the water. <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> is that <laughs> snore <laughs> even? My wee Spanish lady. What are you talking about? That's how you better eat me! Hey, run, 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 he raised. Hey, 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 hey. What? <laughs> I'm talking about a great white chief. <laughs> a great white chief. Maybe 25 footer. I'm talking about There's a great white chief. You sure about that, chief? Run, 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 hey, run. Hey, hey. Shark size chief. Kind of like gold eyes. Like a gold eyes. Twenty years. Don't move. I'd rather he ray. I know. I love That's that. That's my favorite. I'd rather he ray. Hey, cars out. How to hear that? You need to relax. I love how Dana Carvey just pick up on nuances of a character and just like yeah. accentuate just that one little bit. I'd rather he ray. Gross. Oh, here we go again. My God. <laughs> No. But it's not where the camera's pointing, so. What the fuck? <laughs> you just can't get rid of that toot. It Papa free! So we freed Mama. Jennifer became Mrs. Disguise, and Barney got a papa. Finally, Pistachio became the master of disguise. There was one thing left to do. He had to get the Constitution back from Bowman. Hola, mm. muchachita. Can I get you anything? Not disguise. Get him! You're surrounded by disguises. I think I. I almost feel like this was trying to be like a pilot idea or something. Came to get the Constitution back. Hoya! And this one's for you, Chiefy. Yes, nice one. There's much for you, Chippy. Is he dead? <laughs> oh, for real? Yikes. He makes me stinky. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you now. All right. We're still here. Let's not We're still talk. watching this. I just yep. want to talk, okay? Now, listen. Yeah. I just want to talk to you. Right? Oh boy. So we find the nest, which was amazing. More. Why? Why yep. more? <laughs> uh, so anyway. Miss Nagio, I'm sad. What is the matter? I want to say goodbye. All right, we fade up. Goodbye. Oh my god. So here. <laughs> <sighs> No more dog food. What? 
just end this movie. Are you sure? Eric Broadshow. <laughs> Is this going to be the ending of our reel to reel here? Just him snoring? What? You want it to be. All right, well, that was The Master of Disguise, starring Dana Carvey, uh-huh. Dana Carvey, Dana Carvey, yeah. Jennifer Esposito, <laughs> Brent Spiner, James Brolin. James Brolin. A bunch of other and people. And Keenan Thompson. Keenan was in there, too. And uh, the cuteness was there. Yeah. And uh, I don't know who that the grandpa was. I forgot his name. He's probably an old actor. Uh, I don't remember either. Uh, yeah, he had a sweet ass mustache though. And, so uh, Eric Bradshaw. Eric, God damn care it. to care to chime in here? Give your two cents on the movie that you just watched. Here we go. I gotta call him. I gotta see what happens. Eric, what was your Eric? What was your favorite part of the Master of Disguise? <laughs> this Dana Carvey movie that we just watched bam, bam, bam. Well, he's falling silent now <laughs> um, you awake now Bradshaw yes okay god damn I know okay we're gonna finish off this uh, this reel to reel so you can get back to your beautiful slumber it's real dude yeah, okay so no, 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 no. You don't just jump in and just... <laughs> no, 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 no. Take, <laughs> take the whole thing for yourself. He was formulating thoughts that whole okay, time. Okay, 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 hold on. This is where it no, really no, starts. No. This is where... But, but hold on. So, on Saturday was a uh, new comic book day, right? And okay. usually, usually I'm there at like... I have to be there by 11 usually. I'm out of there about seven. This week I had to go in almost two hours earlier, and I was super duper sleepy. And usually I spend the, a good chunk of the day on Sunday to doing a a sleep uh, sleepathon, and I didn't get to do that today because I had my niece's birthday party. So, hence my sleepy deepiness. It's my sleepy boy. Okay state currently okay well we'll try to make this short we'll talk a little bit about the master of disguise and uh yeah how much of a clusterfuck of an ending that was because it was very weird i think at the last minute they just decided to make up a new like oh we got to just throw in his george bush let's have him as george bush go at the end of the movie and uh everybody's gonna love that right and then there's 15 freaking different endings and then one with the tiny little man that was inside the slap dummy. Mm-hmm. And then that's like a, Hell yeah. a, another weird freaking, I don't know. And and then like two or three quick one second little shots of uh, the cuteness. <laughs> Why was that even there? The cuteness, had to, the, have, cuteness. the cuteness had to have a, a ventriloquist thing of Dana Carvey coming out of it. That, or it was the grandpa coming out of it. Too, too, I don't know. Gross. But they they shot it, so they had to use it. Like, yeah. I feel like it's yeah. Because is ma- that is that something like that? This director like said to the editor, like, we shot all this. You need to put it in there somewhere. And the editor's like, uh, okay, we'll put it in the credits. Yeah, and then when I the credits think- finish, put it after that. And then 15 minutes after that, put it after that. You here's I have no idea what the actual story behind like how or but here's my own head cannon, okay? Okay. Dana Carvey sits down with and they go out with Adam Sandler. They go out to lunch or something, and somehow or another, Dana Carvey just comes up with a funny little idea of, oh yeah, like this disguisey family, and they like you know actually like are spies but they just disguise themselves in the force and they're just joking around just joking. and then adam sandler's like well let's make it into a movie and things continue <laughs> and here we are and they end the movie the way that they do with that like what's supposed to be the climax is pretty damn tame yep it's nothing edge of your seat and then the movie just ends and it's like and he was successful and that's the end of our movie and 
after everything was shot and edited and everything, they got together and they're like, shit, this fucking ends like a wet fart. What are we going to do? Just take every single thing else we tack it on at the end. Speaking of maybe they'll wet laugh. farts though. So they'll they'll that... leave the movie like with a positive note. Right. I think that's the takeaway from this is that there's just small little nuggets of hilarity that happen. It, the the story is just bonkers off the wall dumb. Um, yeah. But there's small bits where it, <laughs> they're trying really hard and sometimes it's it's landing, sometimes it's just crashing and burning. Like the Brent Spiner laughing and then just farting and ending the scene just quiet. Like, oh, I you were did really it. repulsed by that. Like, you, I could tell you really did not like that. It's cheap. I, I, like, it, I could oh, yeah. tell, I could tell that it was such a cheap joke. And like, I knew what they were trying to do. They're just trying to force you to laugh at this, this running gag. And I was like, okay, this is just toots. Working. Toots are funny. Just toots. toots. And they're just like That's the it. wimpiest toots ever. <laughs> that's that's the whole point. Just this sure, wimpy, like, we wimpy need guy. Gags. We need gags nonstop. It's like non-stop there's gigs. no there's no real like timing to it. It doesn't like cut no. somebody off. Right. Here's, no how, no here's how here's how here's how punctuates it or anything. It here's just how punctuates. you write that. You write this joke like this. It starts off. You, he laughs and laughs and laughs. He lets out a little squeak, a squeaky toot, right? And that's like, ha <laughs> funny. And then you up the ante. He laughs and laughs and laughs, and it's a bigger one. And then the third time, you save it. You don't just keep doing it like four or five, six times. You wait till the very end where he laughs and he just like shits his pants. And he, like that, the elevation would have brought it to a different uh, tone. And it would have been way more funny to me if he just like, it was quiet. And he's like, oh. I wasn't expecting that. And then like the next time he does, it, it's like a little bit more, you know, bass behind it. And then it finally comes like it's in a big explosive diarrhea. That would have been funny. That could, that could go one of two ways. It could either oh, yeah. be like, he actually does get a big one up on Dana Carvey and the rest of the gang. And he's like, I've, I've got you. And he just gloats and then starts laughing really hard. And he, the bad guy gets defeated because he shits his pants. And he's like, well, yep, I gotta. Is. That's how you end. I it. gotta take care of this. And like that would have been a, a funnier way to end a villain's like tirade, or like I don't know if they had. Uh, he didn't have like a monologue really of any kind, so it was just like a. Because at the end, Brent Spiner's character escapes, and he fights his dad, pretending to be Brent Spiner's character, because that's the whole plot of the movie is that. He's going to turn Pistachio's dad into himself and then fake his death. He's like, it's the perfect crime. <laughs> the perfect crime. Oh, Ever oh, heard oh, of it? And so he doesn't really fight the bad guy. He fights his own dad. And then it's the Star Wars metaphor all over our face. Yeah, he run. Brent Spiner runs out of the room laughing and tooting. Yeah. That's that would have been for, another part where it would have been great for you to just see his white suit just get shit stained. <laughs> what if, what if Brent Spiner for like the climax knows that he's gonna get into a situation where that could happen and he shits his pants? So like, for the entire last scene, he's in like a private bathroom right off of his office, watching the whole thing go down on an iPad and like talking to David and Carvey over a like FaceTime screen or like something like that. Yep. It's like, I came prepared, pistachio. Yeah, his, his no matter how hard I may laugh, I'm already on the toilet. <laughs> right. I mean, I think it would have been better as a TV series, like a limited run mm. series, or like an episodic thing, like maybe th- a three part mini series. I don't know. Well, you you kind of noted something that I think with more time and less, like kind of Broadshow said too, like. It really does feel like they need to fill any silence with just gags. Don't just don't let up, and people will be entertained. I guess is their equation. Mm-hmm. But don't, you said at one point, like, I want to know more about these artifacts, and I want to know more about this history and this lore. Right. And if there was a series, right. they could actually go into like your great 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 ancestor was this person, and they had this heist and employed these techniques and. 
the here's this ancient artifact. Here's these other like. Well, because I, I like maybe, the idea of them going back in history and like throughout history, they were pretending to be certain people like, you know, Abe Lincoln and whoever else. And I could tell that they shot a bunch like there was a Queen Victoria character mm-hmm. and there was a bunch of other characters like a Roman centurion and a caveman. Mm-hmm. And even in like the the hideout or the the secret layer of the disguisey family. It was like a, a barber's chair or something like that, like a disguised chair. And there's like a statue of Shiva and a bunch of other artifacts and things like that from throughout time. And the, the grandpa's smoking jacket had like the Illuminati sign on it or the pyramid with the eye. And there's a bunch of like hidden messages behind that. So like there's some lore there that could be explored a little bit more. Yeah. Who knows if it would but, if it would uh, be advantageous for them to use that lore, but because they just like, I, oh, that's just going too deep. We just want people to laugh at farts. Sorry. Uh, there's yeah. If there's not that lore or something else, there's not enough to hold this up. Right. It can't just be about this one man child that manically like impersonates people around him and gets into trouble because of it. Cause it seems like if this, it, this was one movie and then somebody else was like, Oh, but there's gotta be like stakes or like, there's gotta be a, it can't just be a story about a guy. Like it's kind of like some of the other like SNL movies. It's based on a character, right? Yeah. Or a it's dumb, just a character, or a dumb concept. Yeah, just a really simple scenario. And then they expand that into, okay, well, here's that character, but now they have, like, obstacles that they need to overcome and an adversary and, like, an arc that they need to go through. Uh, and this could have just been, like, oh, here's this super weird dude who just likes to impersonate people and it gets him into trouble in his daily life. But then there's also, like, the super spy part of it. And, like global supervillains black markets for these stolen items and stuff and mm-hmm. it could have just been one or the other it it's it's that all of that under a big old blanket umbrella of cheap like little kid humor toilet humor uh objectifying women there's a lot in this movie about like if you don't have a gigantic ass you have no worth as a woman <laughs> oh yeah, like they really and it's such a it's a staple or it's a sign of the times where nobody really cared a lot about the subtle racism and things like that, like full on brown facing for a character. Yeah. Just for that Yeah, joke. that that is a not very funny series of jokes for a very distasteful portrayal. <laughs> right. Honestly. So definitely, uh, it's a hard watch just knowing knowing that it's, it's kind of cringy now, looking back. It's like, oh, okay. They didn't have any foresight, really, what's going on. And just basically yeah. ridiculing something, somebody about like uh, applying for a job. It's like, oh, they got a tiny butt. <laughs> Are we going to really hire them? They have a tiny butt. The... Yeah, I mean, it's just weird. It's a, it's an interesting like the characters that I liked to see more of is the turtle guy. The turtle guy was <laughs> yeah. is one of the highlights <laughs> even of the trailer. It's like, oh my god, he's a freaking turtle, and it's hilarious. That's what everybody remembered, and, well, and that's still what people remember. The fact that, that I've seen this movie, they're like, oh, am I not turtle enough for the turtle club? <laughs> Well, and he he bites the guy's nose off and it's such a weird situation it's like why would a turtle bite a dude's nose off and then spit it back on his face mm-hmm. so weird yeah Brad, you're very, going to sleep again oh god very strangely no um like cartoon there's two real moments of like just straight up like cartoon antics there's the nose bite and then there's, when he's cherry pie man and he's machine gun spitting cherries out of his mouth. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, okay. which, if this movie took that a little bit farther, it could have been really fun too. 
Yeah, that's true. He's like, oh, I'm disguised as Superman. And somebody like goes to punch him and that, you know, they're hit, they crumple and like hold their hand. Like, oh, that's fun. And then like that only lasts for a very short time in that scene and they move on to something else. But mm-hmm. maybe a, li- a bit more cartoony at times could have been a lot of fun. Broucho, let's give your get your two cents in here. What uh, what did you watch? What parts did you like? Various bits and various bits. No, I just it's you were talking earlier about how many like just kind of just bits in general there are in here. Some successful, some not so much, some whatever. And that's kind of like whether good or not. It was kind of admirable to me of how much just the, the the constant attempt of like I want you know so many bits per minute and like and then it was just overall I guess the lightheartedness of it kind of uh, kind of um, masks some of the the poorer parts of the movie to just kind of. I guess just make it a, a more enjoyable little bit there. I don't know. I just have fun. It's a fun movie. It's definitely a nostalgia trip of uh, seeing Dana Carvey. There's, kind of like there's nostalgia in there. Yep. You because you like to see definitely. an improviser like Dana. Yeah. Do his uh, his crazy voices and his yeah his nuanced takes on characters. It's really fun. That's like it was a little bips and bops. His only thing, the only thing this movie had going for it was Dana as a was well, Dana, yeah. yeah. I think that's all they. I think that's all they started with too. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was just like boom, Dana. And then we'll let Dana do his thing. And then maybe just the lack of, I don't know, structure or the lack of whatever, might have ultimately been the downfall as far as the negative side goes. They also spent at least some of their budget, like, getting two or three, I think, different songs written for this movie. Yeah, there's a rap. When He's a master of disguise. Yeah. And then there's that romp of him, like, running away, and it's the... He's a master Master. of disguise. Yep, it's... Yep. (laughs) basically the blink 182 where are you <laughs> i can't <Kinda>. find <laughs> you and you may never recognize <laughs> but maybe 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 some of that budget should have gone to more writers let's say or yeah. better writers at or at least a better, have a better skeleton better fleshed out ideas for what each scene and what this movie should have been you know Yep. Or have have the balls to actually make this like okay, this is a this is a backdoor pilot here. The director the not... that, that was my nickname in high school. <laughs> the backdoor. <laughs> backdoor pilot. Whoa. It was directed so... by Perry Andalyn Blake. Yep. I don't know if that's a real name. I d I don't know. It what is. Else they I'm don't... I'm the... it's funny that you bring that up because I'm I was curious about that same thing and I'm looking it up right now. So let's see. It looks like, Oh, I get it. He's, a uh, uh, like happy Madison in house person. Because if you look on his IMDB, let me just read. I'll start. Oh, holy sh! Oh my God. Okay, <laughs> I'm looking. We're at going to holy sh- There's a trend. There's a big trend. So, Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, Half Bait, The Wedding Singer, The Water Boy, Big Daddy, Little Nicky, Joe Dirt, Mr. Deeds, Eight Crazy Nights, Grind, um, Without a Paddle, The Longest Yard, Grandma's Boy, The Benchwarmers, Click. I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. Big Stan. You Don't Mess with the Zohan, Paul Blart, One, Grown Ups, uh, Just Go With It, Jack and Jill, Here Comes the Boom, uh, another are you sure, Sandler. Are you sure these are his directing credits, or are these his uh, production or producer credits? Yeah, well, he, he like... He produced these movies? A lot of these, he was the production designer, 
he only directed uh, this and a TV show, it looks like, or an episode of a TV show. But um, it just shows that, like, all of these that he's worked on fall under that Happy Madison. Like, every single thing on his IMDb. Oh, okay. I get it. Yep, that's a. That's a they big... found anybody who would take the job to direct this. Mm-hmm. Nobody else wanted to do it, so they're like, "Yeah, just, just give on. it to give it to Perry. Perry wants to try something. Give it, give it to Perry. He's been here for, for a few years now. He's earned it. Just say accident oh, cut. Dana will do the rest. <laughs> the movie makes itself, and whoever edited this movie uh, sucked. <laughs> oh, why? I could have done a better job of uh, editing a, a story that made sense. Or like, because there was no transition then, between then do these. It, then. <laughs> if I got the raw footage of this movie, I would try to splice together my own cut. Release were, the title of those cut. creative It'd be points. fun. It'd be so fun to try that. You don't, you don't remember those super creative wipes? Oh, man. And the dissolves. Maybe they and were thinking the like cuts after farts. It could become a video game, and like that would be like the loading oh. screen, like is those little emblems, of the eye and the pyramid floating through the sky. That, maybe that was supposed to be like part of the merch. It's like, oh, get your own energy go ball. Energy you can push. Ball. You can push it, and oh. Grandpa's face will appear and tell you to shut your clam hole. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, so that's pretty much the master of disguise. Um, I say, if you want some nostalgia and want to see Dana just be a goofball, watch the movie. It's a goofball romp. Would you recommend it to people that you care about? People that I care about? Like, is this a movie that you're at the lake and it's a rainy day and you're going to pop on a movie? Do you say, hey guys, let's watch The Master of Disguise? Yeah, unfortunately I would because I know the sensibilities of my niece and nephew and I know I know that stuff like this, stuff like this would would just make them laugh a lot and they would just be quoting it forever because it's a good quotable movie. You can quote a lot of it. Yeah. Yep. It, yeah, it would probably... It, it's... Yeah, I don't know. It's just easy. It's just an easy one to go to. Like, yeah, let's watch hey, this. Here you go. Do you have a little wiener and some tiny nuts? <laughs> <laughs> no, they'd, they'd, they'd probably get at the, the turtle. They'd be like, turtle, turtle. They try to do that voice because they try to do like, you know, Napoleon Dynamite. They try to do, um, well, they really got into Tommy Boy. Like they they really like Tommy Boy. Oh, nice. So they quote that a lot. They quote fat Good. guy, fat guy in a little coat. They quote that <laughs> a lot. Bad guy in a little coat. So they have, they have no. good taste in movies um, and, you know, comedies. They, they like comedies. And uh, I think if they did watch this, they would quote it all the time. Well, I don't really ever recommend it to anybody. I just say, yeah, it exists. It does exist. <laughs> watch it if you want, I guess, but I don't know what you yeah. get out of it. It's like, yeah, it's one of those, hey, have you seen this? Have you watched this? Or... Hey, when was the last time you watched this? Yeah. Do you remember this movie? Let's yes. Do you remember Ma The Master of Disguise? Remember the Guess movie? what? We're going to watch hell? it. Jennifer and I'm, I'm almost burdened anytime somebody brings it up or asks me about it. I have to I have to just say, like, yeah, yeah I think I've seen that. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't want people to know that I have a more intimate knowledge than I probably should have of that movie. Right. Yeah, <laughs> you are you are disguising your <clears throat> love of the movie. Wilson I'm going to be a messed up disguise. I'm guys. going to be a messed up disguise. Hey, yeah, Th there you have it. There it is. The big. I wonder what we'll come up with next. Yeah, let's. Uh, who who wants to be the next person to uh, continue cool. the thread? Let's let's figure out this first. Who do you want to say officially chose this? Do you want to make it me? Let's just make it me for simplicity. Okay, that works. You have the most history. Do you want history. Do you, 
What's Pussity? Do you want it, Tyler? Or Eric? Pussity? Do you want to me... find the thread I'll in this you. and run with it? Uh, Tyler, you go. Me go? You run with it. Yeah, and then I'll, I'll pick up after that. So, so, so you find what you want to grab onto, whether that's the same cinematographer, uh, if you want to find something else that has artifacts, you know, find whatever... Oh. The, I can find some threads. I can find some good yeah. threads. There's a lot I'm, to I'm sure pull from from this. I could. I mean, we oh, could just yeah. watch Jaws again. <laughs> we could. <laughs> we could watch Scarface. We, we could go watch into anything barter, with... bo- body horror. Yeah, we could. We could find a cherry pie killer kind of thing. <laughs> we could do more. Ita- oh, we can just do Italian like that idea. <laughs> An Italian zombie movie. There you go. I could do a Brent Spiner. I could do Esposito. I could do Dana Carvey. I could do stuff based could, on Turtles. I could do yeah. I could do other uh, motifs of the fighting dummy scene. <laughs> I could do anything. You, you find it. If you can justify it, I'm all in. All right. Well, we'll be back with another thread from this movie extravaganza that we're coming up with. I'll pull on that yarn. <laughs> it's going to be a blast. Bye, Beach. everybody. Thanks for joining us. Blast. Goodbye, and good night, Eric. Good night, Eric. So long. Uh, sweet dreams to me. It's yeah, so and I just want to say, yeah. Eric, you missed a lot of good credits names. There's some good ones on there. Dude, I believe it. I popped there was it, a thankfully. Person. I was just say, thankfully, there's... The times I popped in where it was just right at some key moment moments. Okay. There was one time I woke up and then all of a sudden, this is what you're doing. This is what I want you to do. And I was like, yes. <laughs> yes. Perfect time to wake up. <laughs> yeah. Yes. He's woke up at the Turtle right Club, to too. Sleep. Woke up at the Turtle Club, also. Yeah. That was good. You were very, uh, very aware of the Turtle Club. Mm hmm. Out of context, you know, people would be like, wow, what's the Turtle Club? I just woke up there. Yeah. I just woke up there once. And it was crazy. I Craziest woke day up ever. There. <laughs> I had the strangest dream that I was trying to get into the turtle club. Not everyone can get in. Some people aren't a turtle enough. That's very true. All right. Well, enough chit chat. This is going to have 15 endings like the end of this movie. So goodbye. <laughs> Hell yeah. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.